Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our new video about Only Murders in the Building. The season three trailer has finally come out. We have been waiting for years on end. The like Only Murders in the Building Twitter account manager is now just like passed out in a corner because they're just so exhausted from people begging for it for weeks. Yeah, they they posted yesterday that they know that everybody has been asking for it and that yeah. they've been sitting back being like, we're just going to pretend that we don't see this right <laughs> now because we know when we're going to drop it and it's not yet. And so, yeah, they announced yesterday it was coming today. It's here and it's filled with so much. So we're going to go through this whole trailer, yeah. some surprises in there. Matthew Broderick, hello. Like, <laughs> where was that announcement? It was so fast. If you blink, you missed it. That, you know, we're, we're going to go through all of it. I already know who the killer is. You you do not, because I already know who the no, killer is. No, I know who I, it we... is from this trailer. They we're, gave it away. We're fighting already, everyone, and the season hasn't even begun. The killer is someone in this room. By the way, anytime I watch a show and they say the killer is someone in I this room, I am instantly in. It does yeah. not matter who is in it, what the show is about. <laughs> I just I, I want to know who the killer is in the room. But no, this this looks like a really fun season that's gonna be really just jam-packed with a lot of different stuff. So of course we are gonna break all of this down but yeah. before we go further be sure to join our patreon mm -hmm. we have a link for you guys in the description below where you can go over and do just that we have weekly live discussions mm -hmm. over there on patreon every tuesday that are well worth checking out we're gonna have some exclusive only murders in the building content there as well over the course of this crazy crazy season absolutely we're extremely excited to be talking about this yeah. show again it is one of our absolute favorites to cover here at the channel and yeah every tuesday we have a live where we'll also be talking about only murders through the whole season so join us over there as well okay yes from the trailer yeah. Who do you guys think is the killer? I know that this is like really early predictions. Yes. This is like talking about the Survivor cast before you've even seen an episode and you're like, so-and-so is going to win. It's going to be Bob. <laughs> it's going to be Barb. Okay, yeah. listen. Who do you think it is? Leave it in the comments for us. For me, I don't even know who Matthew Broderick is playing, but it's him. Like, <laughs> what? They're, <laughs> they're going to bring in Matthew Broderick. They're not going to talk about him before the season. And then they're just going to like, he's there. He's gone. He's such a legend on Broadway. I mean, in, in theater everywhere. He's just, he's he's such an icon you're gonna bring him in and not give him like something really juicy to do it's him i don't even know who he's playing it's him okay ferris bueller cannot be the killer oh it's he just, can be the it's it him. just can't okay here's what happened what would what would want him to come onto the show besides the fact that it's great writing amazing yeah. cast filled with icons he's gonna want to play something that he hasn't really gotten to play before and like killer okay here's what happened Nathan Lane realized he couldn't do it so he just called up Matthew Broderick and was just <laughs> like yo what's up what is what do you think Nathan Lane calls Matthew Broderick what's up broad you want to come in and uh, do this they're, they're bros they gotta have like bro I you know how in this trailer they have like Mabel go girl talk it's like asking me to go like talk amongst dudes like what do dudes say to dudes I always think they give themselves nicknames but like I okay I I understand your prediction very very much that's who I think it is I think it's just it, it's been kept so under wraps that he's part of this whole thing. I mean, I, I've, I've seen lots and lots of only murder stuff, but I, I truly didn't see anything that he was coming on the show. If you guys have, leave it in the comments yeah. for me. If I miss something and like, tell me where it is so yeah. I can go and take a look. It was just, it was so shocking to see him there that I was just like, he's <laughs> such an icon. No way he's here and he's not the killer. I, I think there's a chance of this. Okay, who do you think it is? Okay, listen, everybody. I have one goal, and one goal only, mm -hmm. through Only Murders in a Building, Season 3. Let Meryl Streep cook. That is all I care about. She I, was cooking in that trailer with was, that bad accent. She was doing like... accent work in the middle of a table read. You know what? That is a thespian dedicated to her craft. I... 
listen, actually, there's a good chance it's not Meryl Streep because I understand it's going to be really, really obvious. Like her character of Loretta is all over the trailer. She's been hyped up for months. I, I understand all of that, but it's just the idea of letting Meryl Streep play the killer is just so entertaining to me. And it's also, this is an interesting idea. And I don't know if Only Murders is going to do this, but maybe they've at least thought about it. If you wanted to do something where you actually revealed the killer to the audience long before Charles Mabel and Oliver figured it out. Like, you know, when I was a lot younger and for some reason I was watching Diagnosis Murder with Dick Van Dyke, but like there were episodes of Diagnosis Murder where we all knew who the killer was and the characters on the show did it and it was a change of pace. If you were going to do something like that, I think you make Meryl Streep the killer because then you get to sort of go inside her head for multiple episodes at a time and she gets to do like everything Meryl Streep can do. If you somehow, I still don't know how they managed to convince her to do this. Like, you give her the most material possible. Yeah, like, it would be an interesting twist, but one of the things that I truly love about this show is coming here every week and talking about who we think the killer is and, you know, what the threads are. The show is really good at giving you, like, just enough to figure it out, but you really have to dig deep to be able to figure it out early on. It's not it's not that easy of a show to be able to figure out who the killer is. And, you know, Meryl Streep, in the trailer, we saw that she's, you know, one of the, the actresses of this play. And it's yeah. really interesting to see Meryl Streep, who's, you know, an acting icon, yeah. play a terrible <laughs> actress. I'm sure she saw this and was like, I'm in, sign me up. This yes. is hilarious to have Ben, who's being played by Paul Rudd, who is the person who is dead. We've seen that there's a motive here that, yeah. you know, he's going to be like, she's terrible. Get her out of here. Is it possible, of course, that Loretta's going to find that out? Of course. But the fact that they've given us this motive and shown it in the trailer, I'm just like, there's no way they're just going to be like, and it's her. <laughs> Sometimes the truth is hiding in plain sight, everybody. No, I I think you're probably right when you say that they're not going to reveal the killer until the end. Like I hope not. It's, a, it, it's an interesting idea to sort of keep us on our toes. But yeah, I kind of hope they keep it till the end, too, just because. And I think they know this. Like, a big part of the appeal of this show is us all collectively losing our minds. Like, you know, the other idea that's sort of in my head right now is like, okay, maybe the killer is not even somebody who we saw in the trailer. Like, possible. maybe we saw the killer is someone in this room. We didn't see the full room. Like, maybe there's somebody, like, behind a corner or something like that. No, it's Matthew Broderick. Okay. It, I'll tell you who else it's not. It's not Kimber, the TikTok star. I don't think that it's her. You don't think her fascination with memes, <laughs> as Charles called it, is enough to uh, consider this? The thing that I'd like to see them sort of switch up this season is that in the first season and the second season, the women were, they were both women. The killers were both women. Yeah. I'd like to see it move in a bit of a different direction. I don't want to see another woman killer or then it's really just kind of getting repetitive speaking of things getting repetitive let's just get the biggest concern i think we both probably have about this season out of the gate right here which is does mabel have a new love interest oh my god is this you know we so we can see tobert who's jesse williams character you know and we all love jesse but he's like yes. a He's some sort of like documentarian. It seems like he might be working with Mabel on some of this. It's Mabel does not need another love interest every single season. Like, why don't they know what to do with her? She's such an interesting character. I mean, there's still a lot of background with her and other things that she could be doing. Like, why why do we always need her to be in a relationship? Tinfoil hat. Okay, tinfoil right. hat. Here's here's what's going on here. This is a this is a matter of trickery on the part of the producers. I and really hope the trailer so. people that maybe Tobert knows some stuff about this case that the trio do not, and they decide 
And I don't know if this would be that effective because we just saw Mabel's attempt at girl talk, but like maybe they're like, Mabel, seduce this man. Try to find a way to get this information out of him. Maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe, but we've seen even before this trailer came out that there are pictures of Mabel in a wedding dress. So, I mean, I I feel like that's just a bit of a red herring this yeah. direction that she's not actually getting married, but you never know with this show. The, They've given her so many love interests, it feels like they want her to just be in a relationship. So could they be marrying her off? I don't know. I think what's kind of curious about this season in particular is like even in the trailer, they like flash that they have these people who have been working on other musicals on the show. And you mm -hmm. see like at one point, like Mabel and Charles are wearing very like uh, show tune-esque outfits. It seems like I don't think we're necessarily getting like a full musical episode or anything, but we might be getting some like musical numbers. And are those then dream sequences? Is the Mabel and the wedding dress thing some sort of dream sequence? Because of this format <laughs> and because we have all seen a hundred different musicals where everybody is like, I'm starting to sing. Here I am singing. And then all oh, of a sudden no. they're just like back <laughs> oh, in real life. Like, listen, <laughs> if you're 10 minutes in, you are real ones. You can handle me singing show tunes that I'm making up on the spot. But a lot of times those are just like some weird dissociation from reality. And may maybe that's a part of the wedding dress thing. Maybe. Yeah, it might be. I mean, it's, this is a, a show that is filled with a lot of people who have done Broadway and theater and, you know, it's, it, and then there's composers that are on here as well, like working on the show that have worked in Broadway. And it's just like, how do you have all these people? And then you don't have a little bit of musical numbers. I'm not yeah. saying I need a whole musical episode. I truly do not. I'm not, I'm not a person that's into musical episodes. However, yeah. If we do have some production stuff, I mean, there, there's a play going on. Ben has been killed in this play. I mean, yeah. we even saw in the trailer, you know, sandbags are falling from the sky sort of thing where Charles is like, ah, somebody's trying to kill me at every turn sort of thing that we should be seeing something like a little bit of a musical number. And I wouldn't be mad at that. I, I love theater. There's. One last big thing I think we all should remember in this trailer is it seems like at one point Charles is punching Ben. And if we remember from the end of season two finale, mm -hmm. he says to Ben, stay away from her. Yeah. And if you go back and watch a video, we'll talk about it here too. Like some, some of the theories is that maybe Ben has some sort of connection to Lucy. Like yeah. we know that her mom was going to be or is married to someone else. And it seems like it wasn't going very well. Lucy didn't even show up for it. She left. So was that Ben is sort of where my theory was. And that's why Charles is like, stay away from her. It's going to hurt my heart to see Paul Rudd play someone mean. It's just like, I, oh, I can't Paul Rudd. Wait. He's it's... so wholesome and just a treasure <laughs> that I really want to see him playing someone mean. That's why I'm saying Matthew Broderick, please <laughs> beat the killer. You Ferris Bueller, now you're going into killing Paul Rudd. Let's go. Meryl Streep, collect another Emmy. You know what? Who cares <laughs> that you already have 2,000 trophies? You you need another. Being the killer will make that happen. No, okay, we are obviously really deliriously excited to see so excited. this season. It is coming on August 8th. It's not that far in the future, guys. We will be here breaking all of it down yep. all season. Like we said earlier, we'll have weekly lives on Patreon. Yep. Join us there. We'll be talking very much about only murders in the building. Thank you so much. We'll see you here next time.